What's up, guys? It's your boy Jarvis, aka Big Bro 616, and I'm back with another video. Yes, guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, we done copped us something. I know it's been a long time coming for me. Like, I feel like the wait was worth it. Today's video is about my 1972 Buick Skylark. There you go. And there she is, guys. That's my new, my new oldie. She kind of clean, but she got some. She not in perfect condition, but I'm happy, and that's all that matters. So she dirty. I done had her for a couple weeks. Y'all know I'm not coming outside until I'm, my plate is legit. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But this is my 1972, uh, I said I was about to say Chevelle. Uh, Skylark, we at the car wash right now. I'm about to clean her up. That's my baby. Shout out to everybody that was sending me cars, man. Y'all don't understand. When I lost my uh, marrow, woo, boy, I thought I was gonna have to go to counseling. Like I was sick. And then just to take a total loss like that, guys, that's that's kind of kind of hard to bounce back from when you ain't really, uh, when you can't afford it, when you wasn't in a phys uh, financial position to bounce right back immediately without the insurance. I ain't had the right insurance on there. So y'all know we 100% got everything we supposed to have. So I'm about to clean her up, guys. I had her for like a couple weeks. Wait, wait, how long I had this car? Almost a couple weeks. I just didn't make no videos because I was so geeked. But I had to work and I got a lot of shit going on, guys. Uh, but here we is. Or should I say, here we are. My 1972. Buick Skylark. It's it's nighttime, so I just had to come outside and make a video. I was just feeling it. I was just like, man, you know what? I'm gonna come shoot a video real quick. Let let, 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 let my uh channel know I'm good. I've been trying to throw little hints that something was coming in my um shorts. But yep, it's here. And this mug is clean on the inside. It's got a lot of little good gadgets and gadgets and goodies and flaws as well you know we take the bitter with the sweet on my channel nothing is perfect but let's just go around the car real detail everything is here all the chrome around the windows is here we got new weather stripping all the way around the windows this back window roll down nice chrome right here Real nice. Doors open and close like magic. Jeez. There's a few flaws in the paint. The paint not all the way 100%. But the main thing, like my boy uh, Michigan Street Soldiers say, we got a good base to start from. Look at all the chrome. No cracks in the glass. All the chrome is there. The windshield wipers work. These are some nice 17 inch American racing wheels. Uh, the tires is 235, 50, 17s. These are really nice wheels. I, I feel like they might be uh, polished aluminum. I'm not sure. But everything is there. All the lights work, signals. Shout out to my boy Mike and Jeff over at Mint Condition. They tweaked it. They tuned the carburetor for me. It's a 650 Holly under there. They tuned it. The, the uh, seller, he, didn't, he couldn't get it to run right. But, you know, I took it to my uh, NASCAR team. Shout out to them boys over at Mint Condition. They got me right. Everything is there, guys. Everything. To the two chrome mirrors. Look how nice those mirrors look on both sides. Everything is there. Look at the chrome. Look at the window trim. All the way around the car. All the windows work. Doors open and close like, oh, that one locked. The key, the doors, you can turn the key. That works. Matter of fact, I got the key right here. When I say everything works, guys, get in there. Yo, 
y'all watching? Y'all heard that? <laughs> Everything works. Those was, um, we're gonna get a little bit more detail in the interior. Look how good the hairliner look. We got music back there, seats. No cracks, leather seats, floor shifter. It came with a column shifter, we gotta get rid of that. New carpet. Underneath the car looks great. Watch how this door closed. Man, beautiful. This car is in great shape. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The only thing is this little trim piece is missing. So the previous, the seller, the previous owner, they put some black molding around there. So that's what I'm gonna do for right there. Put some little black molding around there. Just clean it up, make it look good. This car is from 1972, so you know it's gonna have some flaws. But other than that, guys, she looks great. She looks great. So there it is. Y'all want me to pop the hood? Y'all want me to pop the hood? We can pop the hood. Hold up. So this is a Buick 350. Um, a Buick 350 training. Um, runs good. It has some work done to it, like some um, upgrades done to the motor. Uh, I could put the specs in the uh, video or in the link below. I don't really know how to explain it, but I know it's a 650 Holly under there. Uh, just a brand new rebuilt uh, motor, Buick. Um, electric fans, shout out to my boy Mike. He got the fan to uh, run off the key. There's some like, nice, nice big electric fan down there. Y'all heard it running when I pulled, when I uh, pulled up in here. My boy Jeff lifted it up a little bit with some little temporary uh, spring adjusters. We got the brand new shocks and springs coming. That should be here this week, next week. We ready to mount up. I like it. We could do the paint over the winter. You know, it's already September, the end of September. So I just needed a nice, reliable, old school to replace the uh, Z28. And I think I did a good job, man. The bumper impact strip is all there. The bumper need a little bit of love. I don't know how we can, we're going we gonna, to we gonna do the best we could with it. Need a little TLC. But this is a nice base to start with. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it is worth it. Nice. It got some little waviness in the body, but over the winter, hopefully we can get it in somebody paint booth, body shop. But for right now, she is looking good. I'm about to clean her up for the first time. I just got her running right yesterday. Just got the uh, carburetor tuned. My boy Mike just tuned the carburetor. The previous owner, they didn't know what to do with it. Took it off the mid condition. She ready to get on the highway. Like it was 1972. With a little kick to it. I don't know if you guys heard the mufflers. It got brand new exhaust on the floor masters on it. She look good. So let's clean her up. Guys, stay tuned, let's clean her up. Put some soap and water on it for the first time. Clean it up real nice, best we could. I'm gonna cut the camera back on, man. It's your boy Jarvis, AKA Big Bro 616. Stay tuned.
Yeah, we got that soap sitting on her. Real soaked it up real good. This is my first time washing it. I don't know when the last time the previous owner washed it. So we just just came to, just the we just came outside this Friday night. Bored. Put some supper water on your old school, man. So how she looking after we and the camera not doing this one no justice. Jeez. Little quick walk around the old school. Skylight action. Have I ever owned? Yeah, my first car ever was a Buick. Buick Lacerba, 1979, two-door. Was that a two-door or a four-door? I think it was a four-door. Yeah, it was a four-door. My first car was a 1979 Buick uh, Lacerba. You know, the, the big box, kind of like a box Chevy. It was nice. So we got the soap and water, just the soap just sitting on it. Terry, what up? Clean that mirror off, clean that camera off. Yep, that's what we're doing. We got the car wash, guys. We're gonna uh, rinse it off with that and sit for a couple minutes. Let's spray it down, baby. Stay tuned. We done rinsed all the soap off. Now it's time to wipe them on down. Came out pretty, pretty, pretty decent. We're gonna know more with the wipe down. Let's wipe him down. Looking good, so far so good. I love this car, man. Stay tuned. What up, guys? Here's the moment of truth. It's her first bubble bath since I owned her. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, she cleaned up beautifully. Whoo, man. Man, she looks so good, y'all. Damn. I just gave her a quick little bubble bath, a little late night. Y'all see what time it is, what's going on out here? She look. Dude says she just got painted, but you know, they probably painted it in, in the garage or whatever. And uh, he gave me some uh, leftover paint that he had. And I could just uh, go anywhere and get that uh, mixed up and touched up. But she need a little body work too. I can see a couple little wavy little lines, a couple little dents or uh uneven surfaces what they that's the professional terminology uneven surfaces little waves in the paint let's turn her around baby there she go there she go what y'all think she's shining she's shining real good the camera not really the, the chrome Need a little, need a little help. It's a car from 1972, man. But this mud turned out. I'm not gonna vacuum it out. But check it out. Jeez. She shined up real nice. I'm talking about the glass. Don't got no flaws in it. It's a little foggy because I guess when they painted it, but we're gonna put some Windex on. We're gonna do that in the daylight. She is shining. Y'all can see the soap off the glass, off the side of the car. She not no candy paint, but I think she, she I think she look good. Like I said, the only flaw I can see right now is me putting that mold in like it is over there around that uh, tail light. She cleaned up nice. Damn. Man, I'm geek geek. I don't know, I can see a little red paint in there, so I don't know if the car used to be red. So they had to change the color, but they did a good job doing it. Put all the chrome back on there, put all the trim back on there. I ain't even wiped the wheels down yet. 
This was just me to get a video out tonight. I was just, I couldn't sleep. Well, it ain't even late. It's like, it's only like 11, 11 p.m. Yeah. How she looking, guys? She's looking good to me. Jeez. I'm back in the game, y'all. Y'all know we about to boat up soon. I don't know what kind of clearance we gonna get with the uh, wheels. Hopefully they should be here next week. Look how the chrome cleaned up on the mirrors. Like glass. <laughs> Y'all can see the other one shining from over here. These mirrors is nice. I wonder if they knew. So tomorrow, we're gonna check all the fluids. Y'all can see a little bit of the waviness in the body, especially this front quarter panel. panel. It's real, it's real. Uh, it needs some work, needs some attention real bad. Not real bad, but I don't know. To me, I like it. I know it needs some work. I know it's not gonna be perfect. Anytime you buy an old school, you got to do something to it. I'll go back the same color. They like put GS badges. Do this, do that, man. Do that to your car. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> but she looking good, y'all. Black bucket seats in there. Floor shifter. Digital gauges. Tack work. The speedometer work. Only thing that don't work is the gas gauge. You said it's a new tank in here, but I had filled the tank up and the tank started leaking. For real, for real. I don't know what that's about, but. We'll get my team up under there. Get my NASCAR team up under there and check it out. Should we slide in town? I might just drive it over to my baby mama house and just park it over there till in the morning. Then when they gonna wanna get up and go riding. We legit, baby, we got the plate, we got the insurance. That's my thumbnail right there. Mm. I hope I got a couple good flicks. That look good right there. Woo. All right, I'm gonna end this video, man. Welcome back, man. If you're here just watching this video, if you're new, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell. So every time y'all, I drop a video, you guys know about it. I'm stumbling over my, over my words. I'm so excited, I'm so geek. But yeah, man, it's your boy Jarvis, AKA Big Bro 616, signing off with another one. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.